Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nesting Padasali. So last video we had detailedly uh, uh, given how many seats will be awarded for the JRF and how many seats will be all allotted for the LS. So if you didn't watch the part 1 video, definitely I'll give the link in the description below. Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss about how many seats will be allotted for chemical sciences, how many seats will be allotted for physical sciences, likewise five subjects we are going to see. So under this joint CEC or UGC net examination, there are five subjects that has been arriving. So if you take UGC net examination alone, there nearly 80 to 100 subjects will be writing the UGC net examination. Thank God, chemical sciences, physical sciences, mathematical sciences, life sciences, air sciences. Since this CSER means Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and this CSER along with this UGC conduct this joint CSER UGC net examination for five different subjects. So, if a student is the MSc chemistry or BE chemical engineering will write chemical sciences. Whereas, if you take life sciences, those students who are MSc biotechnology, MSc microbiology, MSc botany, zoology, biochemistry, they will write this life science. So, without any delay, let's get into the video. So, with regard to the subject LSJRF total, I had made a timetable. So, sorry, table or tablet or column I had made. So, with regard to chemical sciences, nearly 10,000 candidates will write this lectureship examination and 28,000 candidates has wrote this JRF. And with regard to earth sciences, 1,000 candidates has wrote this lectureship examination. They have applied only for this lectureship, whereas 5,000 candidates has applied for the JRF portion. And with regard to life sciences, nearly 16,000 candidates will wrote this LS exam. ACSA examination and lectureship and with regard to JRF portion nearly 40,000, 47,000 wrote the life sciences examination for JRF category and with regard to mathematical sciences nearly 11,000 candidates has wrote the examination at LLS and with regard to JRF nearly 90, 90, uh, 19,000 students has applied under JRF and also with regard to physical sciences 8,000 students under LS category and 2022,000 under JRF category. So, on the whole, I had mentioned over here. So, here you can be able to see chemical sciences, 39 students have wrote the examination. Earth sciences, 6,000 students will wrote the examination. So, including both the LS and JRF, here you can be able to do a calculation and all. And also with respect to life sciences, nearly 63,000 have wrote the examination. And with regard to mathematical sciences, 31,000 and physical sciences, 30,000. The number of candidates applied will deep on vary. If you take life sciences, they are highest in number, 63,000 for supplied under life sciences. As I mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, nearly all sciences like life sciences means immunology, biotechnology, chem, biotechnology, biochemistry, microbiology, food science, okay? many students will be coming under this life sciences umbrella. So, that's the reason there are greater number of students applied. So, more the number of students applied, definitely more the fellowships will be awarded. Friends. And if you take health sciences, only 6,000 candidates will apply. And if you take chemical, mathematical, physical, all are lying in the same thing. Like chemical sciences is coming nearly 40,000, whereas mathematical and physical sciences are not same category. So, if you check with the chemical sciences, this year how many uh, cat, uh, fellowships will be awarded? Under the lectureship category, 1,000 fellowship will be awarded and JR of 700 fellowship will be awarded. On the whole, 1,700 fellowship will be allotted or it will be given for chemical sciences category. Next, with regard to this earth sciences, so totally 500 fellowships will be awarded for earth sciences. This include LS 400 and JRF 100. Why I am giving LS greater number, JRF lesser number means. So generally lectureship, they will be given a lot. As I mentioned in the last video, generally 4,000 uh, 4, to 5,000 fellowship will be awarded for lectureship category. So that's how I had made this video. Next thing with regard to life sciences, nearly 1,200 candidate will be awarded for this LS position, that is lectureship. And nearly 1,500 to 2,000 candidate will be awarded for the JRF and all the 2000 candidate has eligible to apply for the PhD portion for which the CSCR will give you fellowship. So, for the initial for the two years or three years they will be working as a JRF friends, you will be getting 31,000 along with HRA and again after two years you will be getting 35,000 plus HRA. Okay, so for five years you will be allotted with the JRF. This is applicable for all sciences. So, totally for life sciences alone, 2,700 uh, candidates will be allotted with the fellowship. This include both the lectureship category and JRF category. This might be increased. Why I am giving this increased number for life sciences means nearly 63,000 and some cases one lakh candidate might write the examination. I don't know about this particular year where June 2020 exa 21 examination, how many candidates write, we don't know. Okay, so I am giving. Next with respect to mathematical sciences, 1,000 students will be given one for this lectureship fellowship and with regard to JRF 600 candidate will be selected under JRF and totally 1600 candidate will be given mathematical sciences because if you take mathematical sciences there are 31,000 students alone will write this mathematical sciences. 
Next thing is with regard to physical sciences, where for respect to physical sciences also, uh, there are lesser number of students who only apply, nearly 30,000 or 25,000 students. So, 800, 800 students will be selected under lectureship and 900 students will be selected under JRJ, Junior Research Fellowship. And totally 1,700 fellowship will be allotted for the physical sciences. So, here I have given you an entire detailed thing. So, total number of fellowship is we increase for lecture, life sciences, since the total number of candidates who apply for this life sciences examination that is under the subject life sciences is greater so that's the reason why i'm putting this paper. so all these are predicted only and all these are expected only friends so this i have not predicted i had based analyzed the past five years of result that has at least either by the cser or nta only then i have predicted all the thing because if you take the result pdf nowhere they won't give E subject wise student qualify. So, this will be definitely helpful if you have wrote the examination or if you are planning to write the CSR examination. At least you know how many candidates apply in the license. So, nearly 70,000 candidates apply, only 2,700 candidates will get the fellowship from CSR. What is the life of about the remaining 63 or remaining 67? So, totally 70, say 5,000 candidates apply, for 100 only they are giving fellowship. What is about the life of about 49,000? So, you need to think that, that way, you need to smart and you need to hard worker also, only then you can be able to clear the CSER examination or if you are passionate about the CSER examination, then please fire up your preparation friends. So, this class has been created to provide you an idea and also this class has been created in order to open the eyes of many students and this also created to add up a motivation for many students. So, this will be a path for many students who are thinking like clearing CSER examination is very easy. And also clearing a CSR examination is, is absolutely easy, but you only think you should be enough amount of hard work. Like for the past six months, you should be only preparing for the CSR examination alone. If you are a slow learner, you need at least six months of preparation. So if you want more preparation related video or if you are having any doubt related to the CSR examination or total number of seat allotment or if you are struggling to clear the examination, then please post your comment all the questions in the comment section below so that I can collect all the questions and I will make an exclusive video for all the questions in a separate video. Thank you friends, thanks for watching this video. If you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, please click the subscription button below.